I'm down to five troops. Five troops. I only have five troops. What the hell is this game? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk. Global domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are Cecil the Cynical, the yellow player from America. We're going to be playing the Risk meta settings, Europe Advanced Capitals, the way we always love it, the way you guys love it. Let's hop into it, see what we get today. Noob Corner is cut off with a blizzard over here in Scotland. Okay. I'm yellow. I'm in the last position. What else is cut off? Africa from the Orient. Orient actually completely like a really weird situation for this. This part of Africa is cut off. What should I aim for? I'm yellow. Scandinavia. Okay. Um, I Maybe I cap in Rhine. It, it, like, it maybe feels weird, but I actually have Scandinavia completely open behind me. I just take Scandinavia and I'm a Captain Rhine. And that's not a bad cap for later game. Now my snowballing potential from there is where? We'll see. Like, maybe I take Rhine and uh, I can get away with Iceland the first turn. I don't know. So Red's in Africa down here. Uh, for those of you that may be new, uh, we are playing Capital Conquest on the Europe Advanced Map. Uh, progressive Capitals, so the cards scale exponentially and alliances are off we have fog on and blizzards on and portals off as well so the blizzards make the map a little bit more choky you can't travel through blizzards so scandinavia with a finland blizzard and i think this is scotland there's no way into into scandinavia except through uh berlin did i say berlin uh i, I don't know if i screw it up i screw it up through denmark and rhine <laughs> there's no way this is the only way into scandinavia so if, nobody, if there's no caps in here, there's probably not going to be a cap in Stockholm. So Rhine is a safe cap if nobody goes behind me. Uh, White already didn't. An alternative if you want to go full noob mode is you cap on Iceland South. And then you can get Iceland very easily and actually come through and take whoever's in London probably. And then you can have this part of the noob corner, two point bonus with two capitals. Because somebody probably caps in London. Let's be real, everybody loves to cap in the noob corner. But just with it split in half here, I could take this this section. Although Scandinavia is only a plus three. Generally, I do want to try to snowball. So uh we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride or die with that. See how it goes. See what happens if somebody comes up here. I'm hoping this person's on a London cap and not a Mercia cap. Because then if they come with a London. Maybe they can't get through Iceland South, and I can break this bonus and take Iceland on the first turn. I get eight troops on the first turn, so I can put a lot in here and really dismantle whoever's here. And maybe I can end up with his capital with this corner and my capital with this corner in like a really cool two cap, two cap, two noob corner, double hold, honeypot style, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. All right, so what's going on now? Red's looking to take this. I, I don't think Red's cap is good. This is a split bonus. You get knocked out from behind. You're never getting the bonus back. And you can't even come through the Orient this way. You have to go all the way through Russia to get back to this corner. This is the furthest corner in the reaches of the world right now, Egypt. So white rolled in here. White's cap may be up here somewhere. My guess is pink is rolling to take Italy. Would not surprise me. Our opponents, we've got LCDC from United States. We've got Inexus from Switzerland. Burke Than from Germany. Audra Flex from Saudi Arabia. And Jolly Taniguchi from Undisclosed Location. And I am Cecil the Cynical from United States. Oh, there's Purple. Oh, he's going to hit my four out. So Purple does, unless he gets bad dice. That was two rolls. I actually think his cap is London. If he only gets five troops a turn, watch this. I get eight troops. I could put like six here and two on my cap. My cap should be safe. Man. Or, or, or maybe... So if I get eight, I could put five here. And then I split, split, and fortify to here. And then I put the other three on my cap. Oh my. Wait, does he... If he... Rolls to here. One more roll. One more roll into pink. Can he make it? I think pink has Italy. No, he rolled down. Okay, so pink's going to get to hold the plus four of Italy. Pink's going to get at least 
9 troops on his turn, maybe 10. So this could be a 17. So I need to make sure my cap is strong enough to deal with that. I can knock out this bonus behind me, but I think it's better to just destroy purple here. You know, you know me, I like to bully people into the ground. So let's make my cap a 7. If this is a 10, I can theoretically have an 8 here. And if he's only getting 5 troops, he's not getting through my 8. Let's do that. Let's try this. Nice! Oh man. I lost a troop on that. That's okay, so it'll, it'll still be a 7. So purple theoretically only gets 5 troops on his turn. He can't roll a 6 into a 7 and probably succeed, right? He probably loses if he tries that. Now he doesn't have this bonus. If he brings troops off his capital, which I believe his capital is a 9, he came off with it completely. If he brings his troops off his capital, I'm going to get enough troops next turn to make sure he can't get through. And I'm going to bully him into submission. With this plus 2, I'm going to keep getting 2 troops a turn more than him. So I'm actually going to utilize this position to take purple out. And then I will work on what's behind me here. I just have to withhold, uh, be safe from pink, right? Pink can see my capital because he owns Netherlands. So I need to make my cap strong enough pink's not like horn dogging right through. White is starting with six. Red starts with six. Okay. Pink's going to start with, I'm guessing nine. Oh, one, two, three, four, maybe ten. No, six. Somebody broke him. Oh, baby. Kilted, how come every time I watch you play Europe Advanced Capitals, you bully people out of the game and then steal their position? Well, uh, why not? Have you thought about that? Have you? Because that's my response. <laughs> Ow! Is that karma? I just hit my funny bone on the desk. <laughs> no, but like, Purple gets five now. What's he going to do? Now he can't. I'm be I'm behind him strong enough. Honestly, if I was purple, I probably would have rolled the 9 on 4. Because now I, I've actually... He's got 14 here. Now it's a 13. Yep. Hits this one. I want him to go find my capital. No. Nope. Leaves his 13 here. On the capital. Nice. So I will... He can't trade. I can leave this as a 7. Put everything on this 2 and take this bonus and fortify to my cap. And then I can have both bonuses. Because he can't get this 7. He can't hit it. And this seven's protected from the rest of the board. Purple's 13 cap is guarding my 7. Okay, so can a 10 stack get through all of this? Let's see. I think it does. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. This is... I wish I didn't lose a troop on that, but... Oh, purple, purple, purple! <laughs> I'm so sick. This is so sick, man. I don't even care what the other guys are doing. Five. I'm so tunnel-visioned on destroying this guy for the noob corner. I mean, if, if... Like, I prefer getting, like, bonuses away from all the action. It seems like most of the action's over here. And it's not a giant fiesta for Noob Corner. It's a one-on-one -on -one for it. But I am clearly winning. Right? Because Purple only gets five troops again. He doesn't even know my cap is here. I don't think any Purple was knocked out. Was Purple above me? No. So Purple has never seen this capital. And he's never been in here. So he actually doesn't know where my position is. Maybe he has a guess based on what he sees on the rest of the board. But So he doesn't know about this. So if he, if he does fortify off cap. And I hit it and leave some troops in here, and he comes up and takes a risk, I can come right through. My cap is pointed at him. He gets 10. That's a 21 stack of pink. I'm very scared. If it hits the 3 and then my 9, it's not good. I would highly recommend pink. He did hold Italy now, or if he didn't hold Italy, he held Daenerys Alps. He, he got one of the plus 4 bonuses. Hmm, and he's adding somewhere. He's probably going to try to take more bonuses. So I will need to buff this cap, because I will be threatened by pink later. But I think if, once I win this war with purple, because we're going to win it, I also get a bigger trade than him. Like whenever he trades, I'm going to get a bigger trade. I need to also buff this seven enough that his five troops plus a trade doesn't get through. Okay, that's a 17 cap. Purple gets five. He might also just quit. Audra Flex may quit, right? This is the kind of thing that does make people quit. I like to stick it out and win in tough positions. 
then again, I don't have me doing this to myself. Like, if I had me doing this to myself, I know it wouldn't feel good. There it is. So it was a 13 last turn, and then he took a card. Right, it was a 13 that came out, so he had a 13. So he made an 18, it took a card, which would mean a 17. So it's a 17, and he took six off. So he's got an uh, 11 cap. So here's the question. The problem is, if I do go through with this cap, Pink's going to do stuff. Um, I do need to roll this. I need good manual rolls, I guess. And what else can I do for a card? What's green doing? Did green quit? Six for green. Pink's getting his 10. Five for purple, five for white, and five for red. Green's going to come through here. I'm getting knocked out of the ball. So I'm under 15 territory soon, or no? If he doesn't... Oh, 15. Oh, man. I get 12 troops now. So, let's see. Let's knock that purple one out. I will make this bigger. 12. And we'll roll this seven down. Good dice, sixes. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's good. One more good one. Okay, so he's got at most five to make this... To make this an eight. And if he early trades, he could make it a 12. Hmm. I'll back this off. Okay, do I have a trade on three if he trades? This should be fine. Unless he rolls a 12 on 12, gets god dice, and makes it through. If he has a trade on three, it could suck. Also, if white trades or pink trades before him to make it even bigger. I don't want to see that. That was good. I killed four of his troops, and I only lost two. And I'm full committing here. And he's got an 11 on cap. Keep that in mind, right? Because we're doing the numbers. He had a 17... It, was, it turned it into an 18, took a card, had to leave at least one, so at most it was a 17, and he brought six over to make this a seven. So if he lost a troop taking a card, then it's actually a 10 and not an 11. So he's got a 10 or an 11 king. White also didn't trade. Pink, please don't trade. No, he won't trade early. He's demolishing the board. <gasps> no, he only gets five. Someone broke pink. Yeah, baby. Oh, yes. Okay. So if he trades, he can make a 12 on 12, and that's it. That's 11 attacking into a 12. And he will be taking first trade and in a lot of trouble. If it fails, he's done. I'm tempted to put all of my troops here and just hit it. 100% slider blitz it, so I don't have to chance manual screwing me. I am worried about pink doing this, but I think I'm okay. Especially if these guys start trading. I need to get a trade on four here, just in case. Like, if these guys trade early, I am a little hesitant. Like, he's going to, like, 4, 6, 8. He'll get the 10 trade plus 5, put 15 on his 10, have a 25 to run through. Hmm. I do want to get a slider blitz on that 6 stack, though. 100% slider, even if it opens his capital. Pink trades. Gets his 10. I don't think he's going to hit a 14 capital. He's got enough problems in the middle. I'm just going to hit this, and hopefully I only lose, like, three. Oh, baby. Now he's only got a 12 cap here. He's devil facing me. That's fine. What is this on 100%? You can devil face all you want. Your game's over, bro. Um, so I actually want to bring the 18 as far back as possible. Because I want him to get as bad a roll as possible. Like, if he early trades on it, that's fine. No trade on four for me is bad. But let's say he trades now. Makes this a 17. And now, uh, okay, one person trades in front of him. So he gets a six trade plus his five. He can make this a 23. 22, 21. 21 on 18 if he wants to try to roll the pocket out. And, like, 21 on 18 is not 100% slider. So my goal was, like, if I left the, 20, the 18 here, he'd have more chance of getting a 100% perfect blitz slider roll on it, where he could lose, like, 12 killing my whole stack. And then he could come back and still guard with the 10 cap. And that would be a problem for me to come through. And then he holds that for one turn, because I don't have a trade on four. And then he's strong enough I can't destroy him. And nobody else sees it, because he's two purple ones here. 
So I brought the 18 back. So even if he trades and goes ham, if he doesn't get a 100% slider roll, well, A, if he loses it, green doesn't see it. I can maybe even just kill him. And I can come off the 14 and end. Downside is pink is going to see everything. Pink didn't trade and white didn't trade. So if purple does trade, he only gets to put 10 troops down. Or sorry, um, 11 troops down. Makes it 23. That's exactly what I want. Nine. No, he got a nine. He got a bonus somewhere. Oh, no. Okay, you're going to hit the 18. Do it. Lost 12. Okay. He's got a five cap. I don't have a trade. That's okay. Hmm. This is a problem, though. This is a problem because I don't have a trade. Although if I trade next turn, I get a massive trade. The problem is also he got a good roll on the 18. It wasn't 100%. Like, he rolled an actual 18 into 18. Like, that's 60%. And he not only did he win, he win and he got, like, one of the best rolls possible on it. So he got the luckiest dice possible, and he has a 5 cap. That tells you how terrible a position he was in. So I get eight troops. Maybe I can get some god dice on S5. I lost two on S5! Okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, six on this cap. Okay, six on both my caps. I'm hoping pink doesn't destroy me. I have a big trade. I have the biggest trade. Purple's now screwed. I lost two on his five. That was god dice. Now, even saying that, I did lose a couple troops going up here. The six six split is terrible. Only white and pink can see my situation with purple. White gets 18. He's going to take the whole pocket. I didn't know white get eight, gets 18. Nobody's bothering him. He has this whole bottom section, I guess. He trades, goes off this three. If he adds to this three, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Pink could also think about this six. He's not going into me. White is not going into me. If he goes into pink and pink doesn't reach. Oh, he's going for the purple kill. That's hilarious. He saw me knock purple out, so he's going to go for the purple kill. That makes sense. See if this uh, timer resets. You get 30 seconds. He's going to go looking. Don't go through my three, please. Go here, split, and then go left. Purple's in some corner pocket somewhere. Oh, he's going through my three. Done. I wish he split and went through the two. All right. Big mistakes. Oh, purple's getting fed. Maybe pink goes for purple kill instead of me. If pink doesn't hit my caps and I get to trade and hold these, we have a game that is a game of all games. If that makes any sense. Please don't stack the 22. He's going to hit this cap with 18 on six. That sucks. Oh, 16 on. What? Oh... Now I'm... Now, all right, all right, whatever. This guy was allowed to get strong. He's not going to knock my six out, though, right? Okay. Can I take that back? How big is it? It's a seven? I get a 15 trade. Wait, purple traded for 10. Yeah, so green's going to get the 12. Oh, he's coming up to suicide me. No, no, he's down here! Why is he down here? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I trade? I, can, I think I can trade and kill purple in it. I trade, kill purple, trade, and then I have a strong spot, right? Purple's only here. Do you get nine or uh, four for the bonus? He still has, so he has Spain. Funny. Wait, if white went for the kill on purple, he saw Spain. White had a one here. I don't understand. If purple doesn't get killed by green, though, I can trade, kill, like, I'm down to five troops. Five troops. I only have five troops. What the hell is this game? All right. We get it. We get it. Okay. Here we go. Let's go for it. We need to kill purple or we're not going to have a chance. Pink also has this bonus, I think. All of Purple's troops have went into me, so if he does have this bonus, it's just ones. That's a 
20 trade. Now the question is, do I take my seven cap back from pink or do I chill? Do that. Do I have a trade on three? No. I could have used a dude there. Come on. That's okay. We're, we're in the game still. Uh, pink trades on three and hits me. We're in trouble. But if he doesn't, then... Uh, I didn't break his bonuses. So, like, maybe pink and I can be friends. When it gets to him, I will fist bump. White gets 20. White is holding what? Like, Russia and Orient or something? Like, where is... Red... Remember, Red's cap was in Africa. Pink is here. Um, I my cap was here and then purples was here. So that's four caps we know of. I don't think there's a cap down here. Red also started with only three, so I don't know. No, but red doesn't have his cap. Can white I'm getting ready to fist bump. I don't want people to hit me. If if white and pink don't hit me and I get to buff this capital and hold all four bonuses, we will be in the game. Uh I like white took this cap in this whole pocket from me. He might be like, well. Yellow's already angry with me. I might as well keep fighting him. But if I send him a fist bump, maybe we're good. Like, I will forgive that in the interest of I want to progress and win the game instead. I'll get him back by winning the game. I don't need to hit him now. Okay, you get 16. Send him a fist bump. Oh, there's... I, like, I, I mean it. Fist bump. We're fine. I'll take a card down here. I'll let him hold that. I won't break him either. Like, I will just come down here and I will, uh, I'll leave like a three here and put everything else on cap. He's destroying. Is he trying to kill red? Oh, is red killable? Red's only been getting three. Can I kill red? Is red only in here? Maybe I put everything here and I try to kill red. Because if I succeed in killing red, that's a, I get four cards. So it trades me for 25 and I'll be on five cards at the end of my turn. So I'll trade again next turn. It'll, it's, like, pretty juicy, right? I get 20. We'll go this way. We'll go looking. He says good game. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. If he said good game... I only lost two on a seven doggy time! Okay. And then we'll go, uh, where? Paris or Galicia? Well played. And I'll just say thanks. I'll go one here, one here. And I'll put this here to scare them, but I won't hit anybody. I will just finish the bonus. Green's got that and that. I am... Very card blockable. 53 cap. Oh! Yo! I got the two kills so far! Let's go! White's gonna trade. White can't even get to me, dude! He's over here! I mean, he can. He can come through, uh... What's this? Bavaria. 19 on the third, too. I mean, that was great, man. Green's very weak, too. Like, I, this might be all green has. But that... Uh, I, that means Pink's never been able to hold Italy. He's been holding Daenerys Alps the whole time. Now I have... Now I am very card blockable. Capital, 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 right? And capital. That is something to consider. There is one, two, three, four capitals in a line here that can card block me. All somebody has to do is put a hundred stack or something on Bavaria and I am actually card blocked. Like later game I'm talking. Right now, they can't really. They put a 30 there. I'm going to get 30 a turn if I'm... You know what I mean? But green probably trades with me and hits in here. Or he takes this bonus. And then we're fighting here. Or I take... I don't know. I can also theoretically take a card on Netherlands. So they're trading on four. So even though I get five and they've got four, they're trading before me. Oh! <gasps> He's trying to kill green. Doggy? If green doesn't have a trade on four, this is the most amazing game ever. Because I will kill green. Oh my god, this this cap's empty, dog! Don't trade, don't trade. Oh. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, you teaser McGeezer, bro. He's gonna split on the caps. Does he hit the pink cap? Take all of it. Yeah, go, go, go. This cap's empty, so he's gonna take it. If he hits this 22, I can probably kill green and pink. No, he stays there and he splits. Can I kill pink? No, because pink's got this cap too. I mean, I could take that from him. I get 23 this turn. I could plan to kill pink next turn. I think I get to do that. Triple dude slammer. I've got enough to take this cap back because it's mine. And then pink probably opens me. 69. That's it. It's only a 15 now. It's mine. Thank you. Okay. Bring this three to this capital. I have the ability to kill pink. No trade though. But if somebody goes for the pink kill, like if white goes for it or green goes for it, no. White took a card and passed immediately. 34 troops a turn for white. Pink's only getting five. He can go through me to green, but it, he might even just quit. I have his kill guard. Like obviously, he's going to fist bump. He opens my cap. I can kill him for three. Okay. I can think about killing him for three. He only started with five. Green gets seven. Five. Maybe green comes up and, and helps. He's not going to hit the 28 because he only has like a 30 here. So it'd be 37. He can't hit that. He doesn't have a trait either. I could kill pink now, though. But I kill him and I, only, I get a 50 trait. I have to hit a 28 cap for it, though. Hit a 28 cat for a 50 trade. Let's see? Oh, there's a 60 there. Wow. Okay, I'm not taking a chance of him having a trade. We're going to just do this. Oh, it's not even 100%. I screwed up the split. Get a roll. Six, five, three. Oh, yeah. Now it's 100%. That makes all the difference in the world for my slider. I think I've got him. Killed everybody so far. White is massive. White's got 60. But everything here, this is the one that matters more, right? Do I go into white? Five. Um, send up a fist bump. I have a trade on four. White's got tons of troops off capital. I'm not in a position to kill green. He's going to trade on three. He might go for the green kill. He's going for the green kill. I'm just going to say well played. Oh my god, his dice rolls though. Wait, no, he fucked it up? No, he didn't. Okay, he was already here with the stack. Okay, and then he goes into me. He's going to have four troops at the end of his turn. How many... How many... Uh, oh, he's fast attacking. This is good. This is going to be a good 1v1. He's got a big advantage with the board. But I'm about to trade and run him. But he's going to trade run back. He doesn't get my capital in London, though. He's not even going to open it. How open are his capitals? We both have three caps. 41. He backs off to this capital, right? This is empty. This is... They're both capitals are empty here. I can take one of them. Thirty here to go down, and then we'll find we'll find a cap that way. And then we'll go like this. Okay, faster. Hi, right, baby boy.
Oh, there's a cap? Interesting. Wild card. I didn't get to break Orin. I ran out of time, but he's going to hit stuff. He's a fast attacker. So what does he have for troops? 15, 30. That's it? He has 45 troops. Is that it? But he trades for 65. So that's 110 plus 21. He's got 130 something. Maybe a little bit more. 140. 150 to my 189. I'm winning. Maybe he gets a terrible roll in one of these camps. He's trying to think what to do. This is going to turn into an epic 1v1. Oh, 30 minute banger. We've killed everybody except for green. He got god rolls on the green, by the way. If green, if he got terrible, if he didn't get a god roll on green caps, he would have been screwed. I hope he gets massacred on this 13 cap. Oh. He doesn't take it. Okay. He comes up this one. Not taking it is good for me. And I have a wild card, so. He's trying to set up some card blocks. He runs out of time. Nice! I got 48 troops! Too slow, doggy. 20. Make this 30-something. Uh, this is already broken. I cannot hit the 18. I'm going to come down to Orient. Yeah, yeah. Do you know you've lost, or are you... Uh, we'll see. Okay. Heyman got to hold this, which is good. I didn't get down to break here, though. Fine. Um, then what? He has no trade. Let's do that. I have a trade on three because I have a wild, right? Trades are 70. What can I do to 70? He's got a 30-something cap. Here. No, he brought... It. This is his biggest cap. If I take the 42 cap, he's stuck here, right? I can card block him. I take the 42 cap and, and, and take him out of everywhere else on the board, I can card block him. So this corner, he, wait, oh, he left enough to break. Okay, it's not a 42 anymore. It's a 35, 35 cap. It does break everything. Got a 35 cap. Do I save my wild? Can I save my wild? Maybe. If he doesn't get through the six, I hold this too. It's a 10, it's a eight on six. God dice, unfortunate. I think I trade and then put it in and then see what he can do. 25 is a lot. I'm going to trade and let's see. Let's see if I can card block him. 33. Uh, 25. Fist bump? Huh, I don't think so. This might be a card block. We'll see. I can't car quite card block him. Unfortunate. Can't quite card block him, man. He had the 29 over here. Well played. Does he have a trade on three? If he doesn't, he gets 15. Oh! He abandoned the capital. Card skip and abandon the capital? Is he giving me the game? Well, let's make sure of it. 7, 12, and then, uh, yeah, I'll do this. Make sure I knock this corner out and go to this, go to his capital. I think he's conceding. I think he knows it's over, but, uh, even though he does that, what if he trades on three and goes for some crazy cap run or something? I might as well. Ensure the victory. Whatever his 53 does, I can follow it with this 50. 
Good game. Good game. Yeah, he's gonna go running. Yep. Good game. Oh! Now I can just card block him. If he doesn't have a trade on four, it's over. Uh, what are the trades? 75. So let's say he gets a 90. I can make a 90 here. Hmm. this 25 and the slider so he could make a 90 here i put a 60 there and then what does he do he can't do much with it right or i put it on the capital and follow whatever he does i'll put it on the capital follow whatever he does right I have no trade on three. Oh, he has no trade? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay. Hmm. Make this a 140, though. Actually, let's buff these caps in a way that if he does hit one with a 90 stack, he's not going to get a great roll, right? He's getting, at most, he's going to have like a 90 stack, so. Yeah. And I have a trade now on four to follow him. Good game. Good game. Beautiful game, man. Beautiful game. We just, <laughs> that war with purple over the noob corner. So much fun, dude. Oh, he just suicided into the capital. He knows. Ooh, that was a good roll for a uh, zero percenter. Yeah, well. Good game. I'm not even going to clean the board. He, he fortified off cap. Take that. That was a beautiful game of Europe Advance. I hope you guys liked that. Oh my god, the double honey pot juice pocket ho ho honey cap double noob corner slammer over there. I liked it. Ah, uh, Cecil the Cynical with the win. White player was a master. Pink was a master. And then we had a beginner and two intermediates to go with it to round it out. Thank you guys for joining. Until the end of the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I release videos seven days a week on this channel and five days a week on my second channel. In the description below, if you want to watch more Risk and my daily videos is not enough for you, my second channel has the longer games and it also has some ep epic bangers on it. So go check it out if you don't know about it. And uh, as always, there's more risk right above my head. And I hope everybody out there has a wonderful day.